When Doppler interrogation shows an increased left ventricular outflow gradient, it is important to take a moment to determine whether the obstruction is fixed versus dynamic, as this may influence patient management. A fixed obstruction results in a uniform resistance to blood flow throughout systole. This is usually the result of a rigid structure, like a calcified aortic valve, or a fibrous ring below or above the aortic valve. Dynamic obstruction occurs later in the systolic phase of the cardiac cycle and is the result of anatomic changes in the left ventricular outflow tract. A typical example of dynamic obstruction may occur in those with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and associated systolic anterior motion of the mitral valve. In this case, as systole progresses, the mitral valve protrudes more and more into the left ventricular outflow space, which causes an obstruction in mid to late systole. These differences are clearly illustrated in the spectral Doppler profiles. With a fixed obstruction, the spectral Doppler profile has a parabolic shape that generally peaks in mid-systole. However, dynamic obstruction usually starts off with lower velocities that peak in late systole, producing the classical open dagger-shaped spectral Doppler profile. While we are talking about dynamic left ventricular outflow obstruction in those with obstructive hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, one should be aware that this can also occur with other conditions. This may include patients with hyperdynamic left ventricular function or on inotropes, patients post-mitral valve repair, or those who have had an anteroapical myocardial infarction or a stress-related cardiomyopathy with preserved basal septal function. For more information on HCM, visit ASECHO.org.